If you've been following us along this epic journey in its entirety, then you'll know that we are on the brink of completing all of the Reach locations. With only two main Forsworn locations left, we can practically smell the finish line. I've been here for nearly 150 real-time hours, and suffice to say, I have had enough Forsworn content to last me a while. Yet, with the end nearly in sight, there's a bittersweet feeling that I... Wait. What's happening? Where is everyone? Why... Why... Why can't I... Ah! Foolish mortal. You think you can escape the reach of Molag Baal? The Lord of Domination sees you in all of your wretchedness. I shall make you, shape you, form you into my weapon. Find me where it all began, and I will make you into my champion. <laughs> Hey everyone and welcome back to our ultimate Skyrim that is dead playthrough. I think we're on episode uh, 13, 12 maybe? I can't remember. I've been doing quite a bit of things off camera since you guys last saw me and I think we got four levels and most of those levels I just put into enchanting and I did take one of my perk points and I did put it into conjuration. It was kind of suggested this should help us be able to maintain our summoned spirits by 50% longer. So there's that. And we do have a couple of gear changes. I'll quickly go over those. I've got an Ebony Mage Cloth Hood which boosts my Magicka. I disenchanted the necklace that we had from the last episode. And I put the enchantment on these boots. And for a necklace right now we are rocking the Necklace of Major Wielding which increases damage dealt by 15% with one-handed one weapons and I'm here at Markarth because I'm going to be doing the uh, Tyrannus, the Vigilant Tyrannus fight and I do need to mention that my quest is completely bugged out. I, I could go into detail about it but pretty much just a brief explanation. I've cleared so many of the Reach locations that Normally, the Priest of Boethia would spawn at Red Eagle Redoubt or another location, and since I've done those, I guess something with the Skyrim, um, I don't know the exact word for it, but it's basically causing it to bug out, and I can't actually start the quest. So what I've done is I've put a copy of Tyrannus inside of the House of Horrors location, and I'm just going to go ahead and go duke it out with him, and I'll just console myself the mo the mace of Molagbal. I know it's not ideal, it's not what I want to do, but honestly, barring me going into the creation kit and trying to edit some things, which I don't have any experience doing, this is the only option that I'm left with. And trust me, I tried every single option that I possibly could for probably the last four hours to get it to work, and I just can't. So I'm going to try to do something a little bit different for this fight. I'm actually not going to speak at all. We're just going to I'm just going to focus, see what I can do, and from here on out I'm just going to do my buffs, get ready for it, and hopefully we can come out of this thing alive. So here we go. I'm telling you I heard it. Howling. Those werewolves feel so true. There he is.
Make sure the rats don't trigger these. There we go, Tyrannus dead. And just like killing the other Tyrannus. Pretty much. Take some of these goodies, leave the rest. And yeah, I'm gonna have to console in myself the Mace of Malagbal. And from here, we're gonna go complete our last two locations that we need to do, which is Karthspire and Hagrock Redoubt. So, I'll probably see you guys at one of those two. Alrighty, we are coming up on Karth Spire now. And I really wanted to give the Mace of Molag Bal a little run for its money, just to see what we could do with it. The only issue is, I don't have any engraved bones of her scene, which boosts my stamina, give me like a two stamina per second kind of buff. And I don't have any, so I'm probably gonna use this very minimally. And probably the strategy, just like most Forsworn locations, is make sure we have our buffs up, need blur at all, at all times, not die to mud crabs. And I did bring the Zephyr Bow, which if you don't recall, oh, if you don't recall, I got that from Arcane Thems. And the reason why I brought it is because I have a bunch of potions that I just absolutely want to use and need to use because they're just sitting back in my little home base location. And the issue is that I have so many potions and items back at my home base that I can't sell them all enough, like fast enough to where the merchants that I can sell to, they're always just running out of gold, which is kind of unfortunate, but it's not like too big of an issue. Alright. So yeah, I'm gonna try to use all these potions when I can. Or poisons, I should say. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. It's like a one-shot with these. It's awesome. Oh, this is almost too easy. Alright, hold still, buddy. It's right there. Ah, oh, missed. And with blur, they just can't even hit me. Well, for right now, at least. Oh, I can't even hit him with slow time. Jeez, I'm that bad. Oh, 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 shit.
How does that miss? You just gonna stand there? All right. Hit shot. I'm kind of curious. I haven't used the summon troll recently since I took the perk. So I kind of want to see just exactly how long he lasts. Uh, I'll go in here and take out these guys first, and then I'll go fight the Hagraven and the few remaining Forsworn. Uh, ah, I should have put on Dark Vision. Let's see, is Blur gone? Oh man, Blur's gone. Well, he can take a beating, that's for sure. I think that was all of them. They probably have followed me out if there were more. Uh, looks like Mage Armor ran out. Right, and I can go ahead and take my buffs. Resist Fire, Resist Frost. Now look, my alchemy is so high, I can make 83% frost damage. Resist Frost po potions right now. Oh, that went underneath the bridge. Alright, Hagraven did hear me. Okay. Now do these affect the Hagraven? No, no, take it back out. Oh, they do. Oh god. Oh, just, I can take you on. No! Alright, I think that's all of them. Yeah, that's all of them. Neato. Alright, so, Karth Spire completed. We can go ahead and loot the chest. Ah, uh, not bad. Check the giant, because the giants always have great loot. Void salts, giant's toe, coins. Yeah, I'll take the tusk. I can actually grind down the tusk into powdered mammoth tusk. All right, I'm gonna go back through and loot through these guys, and then I'll head over to Hagrock Redoubt. So, see you guys there. All right, and welcome back everyone. We are currently at Hagrock Redoubt, or we are about to enter Hagrock Redoubt. I just noticed a little dead goat here, so I figured I might as well start the recording here. Just in case there's a saber cat or something close by. I wonder why that one's dead, but this one isn't. I think the... so there's not going to be too much of a strategy change going into this Forsworn location. It's actually getting a little bit late, I think. Let me see. 540, I'll go ahead and throw on... no, I want to throw on... Dark vision, there we go. And I'll probably just keep on slow time. Just so we can be a bit more safe. The only thing is, I didn't have time to go back to... Well, I could have gone back, but I didn't feel like it. I didn't go back to our home base location, so we don't have any uh, soups and stews right now. Okay, he's a dual wielder. And two-hander, okay. 
I do have a black soul gem. I picked up a black soul gem off of a fire and ice mage who are fighting. So maybe I can fill it right here. A soul was discarded, why? Oh, I did fill it. Nice. Now, I want you guys to let me know. Just let me know in the comments. Because I still haven't yet decided where I want to go next. After, I mean, we have to finish this location first. But I haven't fin like thoroughly thought out what location I want to do next. After we have finally completed the reach. So, I would greatly appreciate your guys' insight. Man, she is fast. Doesn't really matter, though. Alright, is Blur down? I think Blur's gone down. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. What was that? Uh, where is it? I hear you, but I don't see you. There you are. Another one bites the dust. Superlative? Uh, I'll still take it. Why not? I'm getting a little bit close to my carry weight, so I probably shouldn't be looting anything until I come back through and finish these guys. Wait, is there a chest in here, though? Nah. I will take superlatives. I think I have one health superlative potion. Yeah, I do. So use that in our time of need. Man, that still doesn't kill. Mace is so much slower than just using the bound sword. Alright. Rocks. You know what? I'm gonna just heal. Oh, that's a Briarheart. Shit. See, like, I don't know why Briarhearts appear as level 1, but their stats are still super high. Wait, maybe I can catch this arrow. Ah, so close. Alright, now we just have that part to do. Well, I'm probably gonna go down- there was a door right over here. I'll probably go through that area first. Little skeever. Stairs? Oh, okay. So this leads to that. To that other door I was. that I had first seen. Alright, so someone's doing alchemy. I could just sneak through this part. Ugh. I'm scared of traps here. And I don't think I have blur or mage armor up. You know what? Let's do one just for old time's sake. Oh, it was a bright heart. 
another one. Alright. Now we're still not done with this location, even though that little music went off. I know there's a Hagraven up at the top. I do have some scrolls of knock though. I'll take a peek inside here. Wait, what? I don't know... Where are you? Oh, shit. Alright, if I get hit here, I'm toast. Let's uh, lead him through here. I don't know where he came from. Alright, let's take a look in here now. Yeah, I'll come back through and loot everything. Oh, I guess he was down that way. Or... Where the hell am I? I think I'm going the right way. Okay, sure. Damn it, I went the wrong way. Alright. But I think I did clear out that uh, particular cell. So now we just have this portion left. But yeah, like I said, definitely let me know where you guys think we should go. If we should just, you know, call it a series or what, because I, I've been kind of playing with the idea that we go for all of the Daedric items. Where are you? But yeah, playing with the idea that we go for all the Daedric items and maybe just going for the big main quests. But I still want to do a lot of leveling for a lot of my skills before I say that this character is completely done. There. And we do have a total of two lives on this character and we haven't died yet. Knock on wood. Oh man. <gasps> oh shit. There you are. And I hate that mechanic. I could have just gotten stuck and just absolutely killed by all of them. Ooh, he is fast. Ooh, shit. That's a Briar Heart. Yep, that sure is. God damn it. Oh, and the Hag Raven's out. Fuck. Alright, she's got fire. Goodbye, Draskua. Farewell. Nice. Ooh, Pommel Stone of Mayrun's Razor. 
take that. All right. And let's run through this place, get our dragon shout. Well, that was uh, kind of harrowing. Wow. I didn't, I didn't think that was a briar heart for some reason, and so I kind of just went brain numb. How do, I, how do I open this thing? Well, there's the answer. I'll throw up a candlelight since it is getting quite dark in here. And yeah, I don't think that I'm going to be using the Mace of Molag Bal exclusively. Maybe, I mean, I, I might end up investing points into uh, Mace Expertise. But that's only if we do the quest, which we did. Oh shit. Only if we do the quest where you go to Septimus Cygnus's outpost, because that'll give us quite a few perk points. Alright, let's uh, see what's in the chest. Do 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 do. Uh, nothing crazy. Still. Alright, well, we're overweight now. And what shout do we get? Mm, bright ass light. Fear, dismay. Alright, cool. Well, um, I gotta head back to our. Yeah, I'm not starting that quest. Uh, I gotta head back to our home base location and do a couple, maybe, yeah, I'll probably just grab everything I can, drag it all back to our home base location, kind of allocate what we got, and I'll see you guys after that. Uh, hey guys, uh, I thought I had been recording, uh, I didn't really do too much, but I was just, what I thought I had been explaining was, I did a bit of spell research when I returned back to um, our little home base. And I was able to make the Scrolls of Greater Knock. So currently, what I'm doing is I'm going back through locations that I've previously gone through. And this one is Bathardum's. Uh, that's the place where we killed Orchindor. And I'm just going back through, making sure that I didn't miss out on any locks now that I have these plethora of Greater Knock Scrolls. And I was able to do that because in one of the last episodes, we picked up a skill book where we learned Greater Knock. And so I already did the main uh, chest at the very end of this place, and I guess I can very quickly, you can pause if you want to see what I got. Pretty much this is everything. So, yeah, nothing too crazy to talk about, but yeah, uh, that's just what I'm doing. Thought I'd give you guys a little update, and whenever I do come across any chest, then I'll pick up the recorder and you guys will watch. So. After this one, I'm probably going to go back through uh, Nichuenzel and look through that one because I specifically remember, and I have it written down in my Word document, about, I think there's like four or five expert level locks that I wasn't able to open. So I'll probably see you guys there next, to be honest. All right, here we are. We are actually in Nichuenzel now, and we have our first expert chest. Kablamo. Gimme, gimme. Uh, not bad. I don't actually want or need that. Alright, yep. Alrighty, and we are still in the Chuenzel. And this is the place where there are absolutely a ton of expert locks. So I did come back through here, open up the ones that I did, it looks like, in the past. What is this? Uh, nothing. Maybe these two? Yeah, there we go. Now I'm kind of worried because it looks almost like these guys are kind of come to life. So better safe than sorry. I'm just going to throw out a couple of these. 
Hang on. You got anything? I can't even open up the master ones though. It's kind of unfortunate. And the only downside, if anything does come to life, is I didn't bring any potions with me because I have runs with sticks and I was just pretty sure that we're doing a loot through. All right, let's just do it. Please don't wake up. Oh, well that sucks. Well, that was a waste. All right, hopefully this one's better. Uh, a bit better, okay. Uh, I'll just throw it over to Runs With Sticks. It's kind of unfortunate that I can't do the master one. All righty, see you guys at the next one. All right, and this is gonna be the last one for Nichuenzo. Not bad. Alright, we are actually back where we picked up this beautiful Greater Nox spell, which is Moldering Ruins. And this is only in a depth chest. Let me know if you guys actually uh, like, you know, seeing the loot from this kind of stuff. Because, you know, it doesn't take too long for me to do, to go back. And it is enjoyable for me. Oh, baby. Got all kinds of goodies. Storm Matronox scroll is really nice. Lots of coins, lion heart, staff of zombies. Good money. I could take this stuff, but I think I'm just gonna leave it. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it. So, I figured we could take our first few steps into a brand new hold together. And this is a very big moment for me because I have been here for a very long time. And here's the line that we're going to cross. I'm probably just going to walk straight into Rorikstead to be honest. And it's been a wonderful and fun journey being in the Reach. But I think it's time for a little bit different kind of scenery. Whether it's going to be Whiterun or, you know, Solitude, wherever we may go, I'm looking forward to it. Let me see. We're almost there. You know what? Maybe I can even... I won't show that. But I think just beyond this little burial site, and we will officially be out of the reach. Let's see. Let's give it a second. We'll even run a bit. And there we are. We are free. Now what we're gonna do? No idea to be honest. Uh, give me your suggestions, let me know. And I'm sure there's a lot of content that I can do, so I'm really looking forward to what kind of suggestions you guys have. But yeah, be sure to let me know and I'll check you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching everyone. See you later.